to my Amazon Live. If we haven't met before, my name is Megan. I blog at honeywerehome.com. I love sharing fashion, fitness, beauty, home decor, all the things with you. And today is a really fun one. It is all Amazon home decor. I mean, I feel like as soon as it turns to September, I'm ready to bring in all of the fall and start getting cozy, even though it's still really warm here in Houston. So you can chat with me. I would love for you to say hi, tell me where you are, tell me what your weather is like. I have Miranda joining me. Hello everybody. How are you? I'm good, I agree with you. I am ready for fall, come September. August is a little early, but September I'm ready. I mean, bring it because in two months, it's gonna be time for Christmas and exactly. holidays. So yeah. I wanna soak up all the fall goodness starting right now. I'm gonna show you all of the fall decor I have in my home all from Amazon. Um, and let me just start with the top I'm wearing because I know you'll always ask about what I'm wearing. This actually is on sale. It's a waffle knit, not waffle knit, like a ribbed knit, just like kind of lightweight Henley style long sleeve tee, just super comfortable. I think it's really nice with the olive for fall, um, 20 bucks. Fits true to size, it comes in a variety of colors. But when I think about fall decor, what I typically like to do is start with my fall front porch. And it's super easy to transform your fall porch from like summer to a new season just by switching out a wreath on the door and a new doormat that's sort of fall inspired. So let me start with the wreath that I chose for our... <laughs> Sorry if you hear my dog, <laughs> he's got a toy. <laughs> Here is the beautiful fall wreath I chose this year. I think it's really pretty. I like how it's kind of autumn tone, but it's sort of subdued. It doesn't look really fake or cheap or, you know, sometimes wreaths can be really beautiful or oh so wrong. A lot of times wreaths can be so, so expensive. Well, how much is this one? $33. $33. So I feel like this is a really nice one. Here's how it looks from the back. I just have it hung on the door with a clear command hook. So it's just hanging on the back right there. But super cute for fall. And sometimes what I like to do is I'll even get some extra picks like eucalyptus or pine cones. And you can just kind of hot glue them or stick them in there if you want some like other elements or to kind of fill out your wreath a little bit more. That's another tip of something you can do. All of these things I'm gonna show you are linked in the carousel down below so you can shop directly down by um, clicking on the item. So next up we have our new fall wreath. My daughter who is in second grade. Is she in second grade? First grade? Second. Oh my God, I had like a major brain something. Okay, she picked out this. She's in second grade. We just started second grade with her. So she picked out this owl doormat and it's one of those ones where you can really wipe your feet and boots and everything and it's going to like really help keep your shoes clean before you come in the door so it's actually functional but my grandma loved owls and she collected owls so this one's a little bit sentimental for us as well she loved that owls represented wisdom so this is sort of a nod to my grandma but i think it's so cute it's 25 dollars, and then for to get a little added like bang for your buck if you layer a smaller rug on a bigger rug it just creates more visual interest in your entryway and in the past i've kind of had a small rug and this time I went ahead and got a bigger rug to take up more space and I really like this one it's very well made very nice you can see it's a black and white stripe you could get it um, in different colors or with the white and black but I felt like that was a little bit more summery or springy so this one is the black with the white it's on daily deal today for just $26 and you can machine wash it you know clean it off with a broom and then come when it gets a little bit cooler, maybe in October, we'll add in some like real pumpkins to the porch too to kind of build it out and create more visual interest. And I like to have real pumpkins for that. So I'm just waiting until it cools off a little more and then we can do that. Okay, next up, it's time for all the cozy fall drinks and even switching out my coffee mug for like a more fall themed coffee mug. So I have two to share with you. The first one is the Hello Fall, and it says it on the front and the back. This is from Sweetwater Decor, and all of their pieces are just so nice and really well made. So this one, um, I just think it's so nice. I really like a mug that feels good in your hand, and this just feels like a cup of cozy. So also makes a really nice gift. So I actually had my morning coffee out of this one this morning. 
And then there's another one, thankful, grateful, thankful, blessed. And is this from, this is, what's that called? The brand? Oh. Ray Dunn? Yes. Yeah, it's that Ray Dunn um, lettering that's so classic. And again, it says it on both sides, a nice handle. So if you like drinking hot tea, coffee, hot cocoa, these are really nice mugs. Okay, so now we're moving down into my kitchen and I wanted to show you this beautiful rug, runner rug that I just got in the kitchen. And actually Rhonda, who works with me, my good friend, she loved it so much she got it for her house as well. She put it in her closet, but it's really beautiful, very soft underfoot. You can get it in various sizes. And I love how the tone is sort of muted there's our little Lukey. Oh, Luke, of course he has a big Hi, Lukey Poo. That's what we call him. So this is super nice, very soft underfoot. They have different color ways you can get it in, but this one is really muted and kind of like an ivory, um, ivory and grays and just like soft muted tones, really pretty. And washable, that's oh. what I love. And Rhonda's <laughs> pointing out that she loves that it's washable, <laughs> which is a very handy trait for a rug, <laughs> especially if you have pets. Okay, I also bought a mirror and I haven't hung it yet because I haven't decided where to put it, but so I actually have it for you right here. Oh look, you can see our setup. Oh hi. <laughs> hi everybody. <laughs> but I thought I could show you how thick it is. So you can see it's just like a very nice slate black. They do have other colors. It's on deal for $60. But I feel like when you have a mirror over a console table or in a hallway or entryway or something, it, it first of all, it doubles the visual space because it's gonna reflect back and make the room or wherever you hang it appear bigger, but it's just a nice like decor piece and it kind of adds some brightness to your room. So I can vouch for that mirror, it's a really nice one. And I have a thing for, I like if you have too many square or harsh lines in a space, adding a round mirror sort of softens everything and kind of, um, just brings it all together in a nice cohesive way. Okay, also for fall, it's a wonderful time to decorate with faux florals. And I found these magnolia stems on Amazon and they are so, ah, I'm tripping, so lifelike, you would not believe it. They feel like, not like a, that cheap plastic faux flowers that we're kind of used to, we may have grown up with. These feel like almost rubbery, and look how full the stem are. This is just one. And how many do you get? You get three. And you get three. So three is enough to really fill out a vase. I have it in a jug vase in my entryway. But I think the colors are beautiful. It just looks so nice. And honestly, this can be decor for year round, but I think it looks great in fall. And it's on daily deal today, these magnolia branches. Okay, also in that same console table, I have this really cute little lamp. Is our lamp on deal? Yay, our lamp is on daily deal as well. So I think this is just so cute and it's the perfect like small lamp for an end table or like a smaller space. I bought it for my living room at first, but our living room has pretty tall ceilings and is pretty open. So I felt like it was a little too small. The room was sort of dwarfing it, but in, the hallway, it looks just perfect. It has the little um, toggle switch on the cord. So this is how you toggle it on and off. But I think it's just so sleek and minimal and pretty and it provides just the perfect amount of soft light in the evening for our hallway on Daily Deal for just $51. And speaking of lights, of course the fall and really year round, but especially in the fall when we're trying to get cozy, there's nothing like candlelight, which is just such a nice way to bring in like that soft, warm, relaxing light at the end of the day. And something I like to do is also burn candles in the daytime. I think that that's something that we don't often do, but I just think it's kind of nice. So these are so beautiful and sculptural. They're really heavy. They have a nice weight to them and they're marble. You get both of them, the short one and the tall one for $42. And these would be great on a console table, on your dining table, or just wherever you want to add a little decor on your mantle. Really beautiful. Like if you can see, they've got a really nice texture to them and they're just beautiful. And then I found this other pair that's a little bit taller. 
And I like these two for the sculptural kind of element and you get, again, a set of two for $27. Here's how they look. And then they even have the felt on the bottom so they don't scratch or damage your surface. But these are more like, um, what's that material? Like a, not like a stone. It has, a, it has a matte finish. It does have this, metal. it has a matte finish, like a kind of like a plaster, um, but kind of just beautiful. I have them on my coffee table right now. And I really like these candles that you get a set of four and they're kind of like ombre. So you get different tones, which a lot of times in the winter, maybe I put white candlesticks, but in the winter or in the fall, I like to kind of have amber or warm tones. And so you can find those um, in those pack of four. They're on deal today for $15. And then I have had so much fun bringing in like fresh, plants and I wanted to share the ones I've gotten with you from Amazon because I didn't even realize that Amazon sold live plants and I've had so much good luck with them that I'm, I'm really ready to show you. So, and I've kept them alive, which is crazy. So first is, this is called a ZZ plant and it actually came like double the size and I split it apart and put it into two different vases. And a ZZ plant is a great plant to have because it's very, very low maintenance. It actually thrives with less water, so you don't want to overwater it. Um, but you can see I split it apart. So you're seeing one is in my bathroom right now, and then this one I have in my bedroom. But also, um, and I got them on Amazon. They come like perfectly packaged. They're not damaged. They're packaged really well, and they're beautiful and I've had great luck with them, but this is a set of two pots. Um, you get a larger one and then this little smaller one. And I thought that was really nice. It has feet and it has a little drain hole in the center. Um, and then the other pot is like more of like a terracotta looking pot. And then that one. This one's in your kitchen. Yeah, this one's in the kitchen, but were you just looking at like the terracotta pot? Was that on? in our live or no? No, that one's So not. you're just showing the, the plant? Yes. Okay, so this is the ZZ plant, and then, oh, well, let me this just show you. This pot. is the bigger pot. Okay, so you can see. Let's see. So you can see the two different sizes. Oh, this one's heavy. <laughs> okay, and then let me show you a couple other plates I got. So this one I love because it's so sort of big and beautiful. This one is the Costa. It's Costa Farms is the seller, but it's a majesty palm and actually comes in this white pot. And I keep it in the um, hallway entryway, just like in the corner right there. And I think it's so pretty. These are on sale and they're th really thriving. I've had great luck with them. Okay, so there's that one. And then let me move on to another plant, which is, I think it's the fiddle leaf fig. Mm -hmm. You guys, fiddle leaf figs, love bright bright light they can be quite temperamental you don't want to overwater you don't want to underwater i keep this one right in my office where i have a big window and it is doing so well look at how pretty it is so if you've ever wondered you can buy real live plants from amazon and i've had great luck with them so i just wanted to show you those we have brant who said that they just came on the live and they want to know are those live plants Yes, that's what we're talking about. So we love for fall, obviously dried florals and faux florals, but all these plants I just showed you are live and from Amazon and they've come beautifully packaged and they're really thriving. I was so surprised. I had no idea you could order live plants from Amazon. I believe the seller of all of the ones I got are is Costa Farms. And I've just, I've been so impressed. Like I got one and then I was like, oh, now I want another one and another one and another one. And I've just been ordering and ordering. I had gone to San Miguel over the summer and they have such beautiful lush gardens. I was very inspired to come home and start adding more real plants to our home. So yes, they are real. And thank you so much for being here. So the next thing I want to show you is these acrylic um, vases. So you get a set of two. These are so genius and so cute. I really like them for a centerpiece because they're nice and low. So it's not gonna obstruct your view or your conversation with your dinner party. But what it is is it slides out and has these little holes. So you just fill it with water right here 
And then you take a bouquet, and this was done in the summer, the one you're seeing here, but you can do obviously fall inspired colors for the autumn season. And you just put them in these little holes and it makes them stand up. And then it creates such a beautiful centerpiece. I think it's so fun. You can have a lot of fun just switching out the flowers and the colors, depending on your mood or your decor or the season. Um, and for this one, I just got a bouquet of grocery store flowers and made such a beautiful um, centerpiece display with that. Now, some more fall decor is basically some accent pieces that I like scattering about to kind of add some decor to a console table, an end table, your um, living room, you know, coffee table. But I got these two stone bowls. They're from Amazon, obviously but the brand is Creative Co-op and they have really nice pieces. A lot of them are just very unique and they almost look vintage inspired. So this one you get a set of two and I just have them on my console table behind the sofa. So these are awesome. Also in the living room, I've had some luck with furniture from Amazon, believe it or not. So I found this chair, it's an upholstered um, chair with like a cane or wicker um, armrests. And we love it. My daughter especially loves to sit in this spot. It's actually a quite comfortable chair. Um, and I got it on Amazon and I really was really happy with it. It looks beautiful. I think you can get it in other colors. And it just looks so beautiful in the living room. Just like a perfect little reading nook right there. It wouldn't be fall without decorating with pumpkins. And I have several different pumpkins you'll see. But one of the ones I really like are these um, like woven kind of woven resin pumpkins. This one comes with a set of two and they're just so different and new and unique. Um, you can use them year after year. I like the color. I like how it is like sort of a muted orange and not too like fake looking. Um, but these look great just on a stack of books or on an end table and just so beautiful. Like, Look, it just looks so real. Like at least the stem part. It's great quality. Like really nice quality. The last couple years. Yeah, and it has some weight to it, so it feels like really, really nice. Then we have a little vase, and I kind of end up going with some moodier tones when it comes to fall and winter. So this is a black but wooden vase, and I love the shape of it. Plus it has this round mouth where you can put a lot of um, faux florals in it. I had the pompous grass in it. You can see this pompous grass is also from Amazon, which I love the kind of texture of it, like the soft nature and all the different colors, how they look together. I think it's really beautiful. And a little trick I will do is if, if I have some florals I wanna put in here, but I need it to be um, thinner, I will either put like a small, cup in here to make it like a smaller opening or I will like tie them together with like a zip tie or just some kind of string or tape and it makes it kind of sit in here a little bit better and then you can still get that nice full look. So this is a beautiful vase and again it's not too tall if you wanted to put it on your dining table. Okay, let me see, what are we up to? Okay, now we're on to another fall candle and you can see this one is well loved because it's almost empty. This one's also by Sweetwater Decor and it says, hello fall. It just smells kind of like, what is it? Like apple and cinnamon. It smells like an orchard to me. Like that's yeah. the epitome of fall. Yeah, Miranda's saying it smells like an orchard. But I had this one on my kitchen um, counter and I just think it's beautiful. It's almost empty. I'll probably order it again because I just think it's so pretty and I love the scent. And it's not like too overpowering when you burn it, but you can smell it. It just, it doesn't give you a headache if that makes sense. Okay, so we have some more faux pumpkins. These are the velvet ones, but we also have some, um, what's it called, corduroy. So you're seeing right now the velvet ones are these the velvet or the corduroy? These are. I think those are the corduroy ones. Oh, are these corduroy? I can't tell. So okay, so so you're seeing on the carousel oh. corduroy, which I do have a, a photo of those, but we also have in the carousel these velvet pumpkins, and these are really cute too. And look at the stems. It's like these really long stems, and they're kind of curvy. So I kind of just place these throughout my house wherever my daughter sort of helped me decorate, and so she was just 
placing them like here and there and just, you know, having fun. I like the colors on these, but you, they come in at several different varieties of colors. And then something we did in our last house is we hung a little fall banner. This was my daughter's playroom and you can see I layered it up. I have like a hello fall, I think it says, or happy fall. And then I had another one that was kind of like um, checkered and just had some different colors in it. So I felt like the two of them look really cute layered together if you wanna add a fall banner to your decor. One of those is on deal, so a great deal on that one. And then even the other one's like 40 or $7, so great deal on those. And then I'm really excited to share with you my Hue light bulb. So my, they weren't working, I had like lost internet and it was a drama, but let me tell you what these light bulbs do. I should have taken a video of like changing the color. So this is a Hue light bulb. We got these years ago as a gift and I'm crazy for them. So what they do is they can change to any color of the rainbow any brightness like super bright to very dim you can use the app on your phone and what i do is i use this as my alarm clock so instead of any sound my light bulbs are set to come on at like whatever like let's say today 5 30 and you can set the time with, with which it gets brighter so i think i have five minutes so it'll fade from like it'll come on and it'll be dim and then it'll get brighter 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 by 5 30 it's like bright and it wakes me up so I wake up sort of gently with the light and I love it also because they're controlled with the phone and I do keep my phone in the bed I don't have to get up to turn the lights on or off or adjust them um, I can do the same thing we have these bulbs in the bedroom and in the living room and my son has one in his room so I can control all the lights from the app on my phone I think this is one of my favorite home purchases but my kids have a lot of fun with them like setting the colors to like blues or reds or purples or pinks or whatever so it's kind of fun especially in the living room on a movie night so these are awesome they last forever and they work with a free app on your phone um and then are we at my puzzle yes, okay you guys i last. have gotten obsessed with puzzles lately since the summer and in particular this brand called gallison that's my favorite brand of puzzle they're just very beautiful artwork, and then the puzzle pieces themselves are really high quality. So there's no dust, no puzzle dust to deal with, and the pieces are like really strong, just beautiful. So I like to do puzzles that kind of correspond with the season that we're in. So I just bought this beautiful fall-inspired puzzle. I'm really excited to do this one. They are challenging, I will say. This one's a thousand pieces, and it's challenging but we'll typically put it on either the kitchen island, like off to the side, we have a big island, or on one side of the dining table and just let it be there and then we'll kind of work on it here and there and the kids will get involved. My boyfriend loves to help me with them as well. So it's just kind of like a fun activity for indoors, but I'm excited for this one. I've done so many of his puzzles, Gallison, but if you want to get one that's a little bit easier, go for the 500 piece puzzles because those are a little bit less challenging, but they're really fun. And I just think the scene, like look at the scene. We have another fellow puzzle lover, Arthur, in the chat. Um, they like to frame and hang them and use them as decor. Arthur, that is a good idea. Thank you for being here. I remember doing that when I was a kid and it is fun because you put all this work into it and then you basically just destroy it and put it back in the box. So yeah, framing is a good idea, especially if you get one that you really love with really cool artwork. That's awesome. Okay, that's all we have for you today, y'all. Um, thank you for being here. Be sure to hit the follow button before you go and you'll get notified when I go live in the future. We do daily deals here. We will do Amazon fashion. We do beauty, all the things. So I can't wait to see you next time. Until then, have a great day. Bye.